Lisa Posthumous Lyons is a state representative, Republican from Alto. She's on the other end of our AT&T line this morning. Thanks for being with us. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Good. Nice to hear from you again. I, I'm, I'm curious now. We've been hearing about this for years, but now it looks like you've got the buy-in from the Republican Secretary of State, Ruth Johnson, to have uh, no reason absentee voting. Um, that's traditionally a Democrat cause, isn't it? Well, I think I, we're talking about making sure that people... Uh, are participating in our elections, you know, I think some of these issues transcend party lines, and um, I'm hopeful that this is one of them. This issue comes up every couple of years, but it is time to have an honest and open conversation about how we can how we can help make sure that people aren't, if they don't qualify under these six uh, reasons for absentee voting by law, how can we help them not feel like they have to lie or not turn them off if they are uncomfortable lying and committing election fraud by maybe checking a box they shouldn't be. Yeah, what are the six reasons, if you'd run through them very quickly? Uh, one is you're going to be out of town, you can't get to the polling place. Yep, yep. The six reasons are um, if you are over 60, mm -hmm. if you are going to be out of town um, where you vote for the entire time the polls are open, um, if you're physically unable to get to the polls without assistance, if uh, the going to the booth, the voting booth, uh, violates the tenets of your religion, if you're on jail awaiting trial or arraignment, or if you are um, an appointed election inspector working the polls. Okay. So otherwise, you go, you, you go and you give one of those reasons, and they give you the ballot, and you fill it out at home and drop it off, or whatever you like. And the big argument yeah, against... Yeah, or you do uh, it by mail. Or you just lie and say, you know, I'm not, I just want to get one of these so I can take my time with it. Or you, or you don't want to wait in line that day. And a lot of people do that, I suspect. Um, oh, well, yeah. We, I'm not sure if I have numbers because I'm not sure yeah. people want to really divulge that they're committing election fraud. But, but the, you know, the likelihood is very high. So to, the, the argument against is that, it, that you, you don't know who's really filling out the ballot and there could be election fraud. What are the, what are the ways you would uh, calm people's fears about that? That's a great. That's a great point. And again, I point to the legislation. Um, my proposal, actually, if you vote no reason for absentee, that's actually the most secure possible way we can vote under our system today. Because if you're going to vote no reason um, absentee, you have to go into your clerk's office in person, show a valid ID, mm -hmm. and um, and apply for that absentee ballot. Uh, you don't have to do that under current law, under the six reasons. Um, and when you go to the polls, you know, you are, you're doing the same thing. It's the same process when you go to the polls on Election Day, only when you're going in no reason. When you go into those clerk's offices, you know, those are, those are uh, paid employees that deal with elections day in, day out. So um, I really think that we are striking a, a great balance between um, putting Michigan's stamp of security and preserving our election integrity, uh, but also making sure that we are uh, really being realistic about uh, hard-working men and women who need to vote and may not be may not be able to get to the polls. Twenty-seven other states have no excuse absentee voting. Uh, for what that's worth, uh, what kind of what kind of pushback are you getting from Republicans, if any? Well, you know, admittedly, anytime you're doing a, a change in how we do elections. Uh, there is a political nature, and, um, you know, I am getting pushed back from some of my own party. Uh, I love them, but they happen to be wrong on this issue, and I'm hoping that this discussion will help um, shed some light on, on the issue as a whole, where people won't just necessarily uh, outright knee-jerk oppose. They'll actually take the time, look at the policy, and look at the facts that we're looking um, to put together for folks in other states. There's no uptick in huge election fraud as a result of absentee voters, um, and you know, and things like that. 